Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. If you came here from the first video then it is obvious that you like this series. In this video, we will create the bottom navigation in our home screen. But before moving ahead, check that you have already clicked on that bell icon. Now let me tell you about home screen or our application screen. We basically have three screens. The first one is the home screen where we will display all the categories. The second one is the favorites where we will display the favorite categories of the user. The third and the last is the settings screen where we will display the current user details. Now remember it is not necessary to log in to our application but if a user wants to favorite categories a login is required. But in this video we will finish the bottom navigation part only. So the first thing we will do is we will add the dependencies. We need to add support design, card view and recycler view. And we may add more in coming videos. Now remember one thing when we use support libraries the version of all the libraries we are using should match. For example we go to this file build.gradle module colon app for adding the dependencies and here you can see we have some dependencies by default and as you can see here for the support app compact we are using the version 26.1.0 then all the support libraries that we are going to add should be of this version the exact same version okay this is very important now we can directly write the version as it is written here 26.1.0 for the support libraries but when it grows for example we have 5 support libraries of version 26.1.0 and later we want to upgrade the versions then we need to manually change 5 lines. Now imagine the same scenario when we have 15 or 20 or even more lines. I hope you got my point. So to make it easy we can define a variable and in that variable we can define the version that we are going to use. Then we will use the variable instead of defining the version here. Okay. So to define a variable here we can write ext and inside this block we can define the variables that we want. For example for now we want support library version and the version that we are going to use is 26.1.0 then instead of writing the version here we can write the variable here and to use a variable we need to prefix a dollar sign so we have support library version now one more thing we need to do is we need to replace these single quotes with double quotes as we are using a variable inside okay so if we have a variable we have to use double quotes okay now we also need to add recycler view card view and support design so we have recycler view card view and design okay all of the same version now we need to sync our project and we are done with this part now the next thing we need is some additional colors so let's define some colors okay and to define colors we go to res values and colors.xml and here i will define some more colors so let's define i have already decided the colors you can choose whatever color you want so the first color i need is for title okay and it is c e c e c e now you do not need to remember the code you can simply choose the color from here then we need color for the default bottom navigation buttons now when the bottom navigation menu item is active we need a color for that so let's define it so 
so we have the required colors now we need to define some strings okay and to define the strings we go to this strings.xml file as you can see we have only one string for now and that is our application's name now we will define three more strings here so the first string is for nav home and then favorites and then settings So we have our strings. Now we will design our home screen. So come to home screen and which is inside layout and activity underscore home dot XML. For the home screen, we will use a coordinator layout as I want to collapse the toolbar when we scroll. Okay, so let's remove this constraint layout and define a coordinator layout. That's it. Now inside the coordinator layout, I will define an app bar layout for displaying the toolbar. Okay. So let's define the app bar layout, which is match parent wrap content. Then we can define a background color of this app bar layout. Let's make it color primary. Then inside this app bar layout, we will define our toolbar. Okay, so let's define the toolbar here. Again, it is match parent wrap content. And we will define the title of the toolbar as our application name. Then we can also change the title text color with the color that we defined color title. And as we want to uh, collapse this toolbar when we will scroll up. So to do this, we need to define another property, which is app colon layout scroll flags. Okay. And here we can define two properties the first thing is scroll and the next thing is enter always okay so it will scroll up when we will scroll up and when we will scroll down it will display again okay so we have our toolbar and we have our app bar layout then we also need to define the bottom navigation view okay so let's define it here We have the bottom navigation view. Again, it is match parent wrap content. And for the background, again, we will define the color primary. Okay. And we need to display this bottom navigation view at the bottom. So we will define the gravity property as bottom. And you can see it is now at the bottom of the screen. Now we need to define a menu for this bottom navigation. So to do this, we need to create a menu folder here inside our rest folder. So right click, go to new and create a directory and name it menu. Now inside this menu directory, again, go to new and create a menu resource file. And let's name it nav menu. Now here we will define all the three menus that we want. So the first thing is item and we have ID and we have ID for nav home and the title is home. And we already defined the string for this. So we will use the string reference. So we have nav home. The same way we will define favorites and settings. So 
so we have all the three menus now we need the icons okay for home for favorite and for settings and you can easily define the SVG or vector icons just right click on your drawable folder go to new select new vector asset and from here click on this icon and from here you can select the icon so we need icon for home the same way we will select icons for favorites and settings now we will define all the icons on these items okay so we have icon home icon favorite and icon settings settings Okay, so we have all the icons. Now we will define this menu for our bottom navigation. So let's come inside activity underscore home and here define the actually I just created the wrong thing here. We need a bottom navigation. Okay, bottom navigation view, not a bottom navigation item view okay so we have the bottom navigation view then for the menu we can define the menu that we created the nav menu you can see we have the menu now we also need to define the active and default state for this items and to do this first we need to create a new folder inside this rest folder so right click go to new and select a directory and name it color and here we will create a color resource file and you can name it bottom nav item or whatever you want now inside this file we will define the colors for active and default state so let's define the item as you can see in the colors.xml file we already defined the default color and the active color so we will use these colors so come back to the file that we created bottom underscore nav underscore item dot xml and here we will define an item the first thing is the active state and for this we have the color active and we will define the state checked as true so we will display this color when the item is active and for the default state we will select the default color so we have the default color and we have the active color now we will define this thing for our bottom navigation view so come to activity underscore home again and here define item i content as the color slash bottom nav item and also for item text color we will define the same bottom nav item So as you can see we have our bottom navigation view here and it is the active color and it is the default color. Now here in the remaining area we will display our screen using fragments. Okay. 
so for this area we will again create a new xml file so right click on layout folder and create a layout resource file and we will use relative layout and let's name it content underscore main now we will give this layout an id let's say we have content area and we will push our fragments inside this content area okay now we need to include this file into our activity home.xml file so here after app bar layout we will include the content main that we created okay so we have the content main we have bottom navigation view and we have the app bar layout and we have our toolbar okay now let me show you it is working So you can see we have the toolbar, we have the bottom navigation view and we have not added any functionality yet. So nothing to test now, but inside this white area, we will display our screens and we will do this in the next video. So that is all for this video friends. You can download the source code from the GitHub link. The link is given in the description of this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then please let your friends know about this course. Thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan signing off.